as you guys know, this was a very, very long election. Um, did any of you watch the process as it was going on? I watched um, the news every day <laughs> until it was called. Seeing that a state would turn from leading to red to leading to blue or vice versa, which is very like nerve wracking and exciting yet very like scary. I live near like a, like a very populated road and very populated area. So everybody was beeping their horns. It was just fun around here. We do know our president elect is Biden. What are some of the things, the topics, the issues that you feel are most important for him to address as soon as he becomes our official president? He should address COVID. Like how to like, you know, make sure that the COVID cases decline because um, it's, it's, it's getting really out of hand. It's really is. A lot of people are dying. A lot of people are getting sick. COVID-19, the racial injustice, women's rights, LGBTQ's rights. I feel like everything that all ties up to certain things that he should run straight to, to fix. Trump is disputing some of the mail-in ballots, particularly here in Philadelphia, because we had an overwhelming amount of individuals in our city vote through mail-in ballots. He never liked Philadelphia anyway. And I kind of knew this was going to happen. Um, it's just, it feels like a, like he's being a sore loser. If you're like a real president, I just feel like you should honestly be more mature about it. I have a grandmother who is currently sick, so she couldn't go out, and an aunt that's currently in bed rest. So they had to go to mail-in ballots. So you mean to tell me that they shouldn't have voted to begin with? I just feel like everyone deserves to be heard. Well, I'm very proud of all of your civic engagement, and I'm quite confident um, moving forward in the future, you know the value of your vote and that you will continue to vote. Um, thank you so much for everything that you have done this election and in future elections. Thank you for having us.